So you just got done defeating the greatest character in all of the DC Universe. I mean, come on, he's a giant egg. What can be better than that? And you're saying to yourself, man, I really wish I could get all of the briefings. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Jesse, and I'm back to show you how to get all 10 of 10 briefings in the Oolong Island alert in DC Universe. All right, so as you can see, I'm in the room of the final boss here, and we're going to backtrack all the way through the winding corridors and all this stuff to get to every single last one of these. So hopefully you're ready for a long one, because there are 10 of these, and it's going to take a while. Let's do this thing. Now, when you get down here, there's really only one way to go. Uh, you'll notice this is the path you took to get here uh, by blowing stuff up and fighting little guys who just happen to be right there, too. So, apparently we missed some, or they respawn, I don't know, but uh, thankfully these are not hard in the least. Oh, and look, they're little tiny men. That's hilarious looking. Anyway, the first one is right up here. Try to show it to you on the map, I guess. Uh, it's inside, so I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well, but uh, yeah. It's really hard to miss when you're actually doing the uh, alert because you can see it. It's big and blue and, and very bright. All right. Now I'm going to struggle to get out of here. Thanks to my awesome <laughs> abilities. Can't even tell what's going on half the time. Did I just climb up that stalactite or stalagmite? And that's one thing I never learned in school, kids. Stay in school. Learn your science education. All right, anyway... Wait for this giant... See what I said? It's going to take a long time. They tried to make it so, like, <laughs> this is just the longest wait. Yeah, so that's some high-quality gameplay right there, right? All right? Anyway, now that I was electrocuted, let's get out of here and find you the other nine. All right, the first one is right around this corner off to the left. It's right behind here near these pipes. You can already see it. Boom, there it is. Show it to you on the map. Pretty easy to find, right? And the next one, number three, is right down here off this cliff. Bada bing, bada boom, there you go. Numero trace. So, you can tell while there's a lot, they're not that hard to find. There's maybe one or two that are actually kind of difficult, but other than that, very simple. Take you over here to number four. Ooh, not that way, this way. There you go. There's number four. Right on top of that building. Uh, not too hard to find. Pretty simple. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Number five is straight across on top of this... Uh, don't even know what you would call this thing. Like a garage... Entrance. <laughs> I don't know why mad scientists we need a garage. I guess they gotta park the car somewhere, right? You can see sort of the path we made down the left side of the island there. And that is five. Now number six is up on top of this building all the way back over on this side over here. There you go. I think this would be the right side if we're looking at the map. I didn't want to screw that up for you, so there you go. Pop that up on the map, show you exactly where it's at. Now you can see we spent our entire time over on the left side, and now we're switching over to the right. And from now on, everything's going to be over on this right side, okay? So uh, don't worry too much about the left anymore. The first one we're going to find... Number seven is right back here on these pipes in the background. That is number seven. Show it to you on the map. And number eight is going to be all the way on the other side of this complex up in the mountains there across from us. And this is the one that was the hardest for me to find. I could not find this to save my life. You can see by flying over it, you can't really see it until you get down close and you land and there it is. So yeah, that was a toughie, but that is number eight. Show it to you on the map there. Alright. And number nine is right across from here. I think I just had a brain fart because I can't remember. Where, oh, never mind. Thought it was here, but it's over here. There you go. See, there's way too many of these. Like when it's six, I can easily get to them all. 
when we start getting to nine, I'm like, Duh, where'd it go? All right, anyway, that's it. And finally, the easiest one of all, number 10, is right back here at the very start on this yacht. This is Oolong's Try not to fall in the water there. And that is number 10. And your reward for doing all of this is the Gadgeteer Helm, which I guess looks like you're flying F-14 fighter jets or something, but uh, let's show you that. There you go, kind of cool looking. Anyway, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, to be continued.